everybody a couple of minutes and then we're going to get started. Okay, so um, can you try and see if you can share screen, please, Gerard? Yes, I can do that. Great. And we are now live on YouTube. I'm waiting for the link. Once I get the link, I'll post it in the chat or you could click the YouTube icon on your screen and you'll be directed to YouTube. Okay? Awesome. Thank you very, very Great. much. All right. Uh, remember second place um for the competition. Let's see you only put in like the champion. Remember that there's a runner up. Yes, yes, Dave, I remember. <laughs> uh. All right, so we're going to get started with the Kahoot. Um, we're going to have two rounds of Kahoot right now. And then we will have our first scavenger hunt right afterwards. Um, as I said before, I'm going to call the names of those who are going to be participating at once uh, when it comes to the Kahoot. And then I'm going to ask you to check your individual chats so that I can send you the game pin. When you're when you're using when you're choosing a nickname for a Kahoot, use your first name. Um, for those who have similar names, if you if you notice anybody that may have your name, your first name, then you can add your last name. All right. Um, so I'm going to get the first quiz ready and uh, to let you know who is going to be participating in that one. So first up, we will have Davion Sterling, Chisomo Burke, Kadian Downer, Jada, and Camille, all right? So let me say let me say that to you again. Davion, Chisomo, Kadian, 
Jada and Camille. Those are the first five contestants, all right? So I'm going to get your game pins to you very, very shortly. All right, I'm going to make a slight adjustment here, okay? I'm going to make a slight adjustment. Slight, slight, just slight. So listen out for this, all right? Jada, you want you want Tay Park in this one. So instead, we're going to have Adrian, Camille, Chisomo, Davion, and Kadian. All right? Adrian, Camille, Chisomo, Davion and Kadian. Those are the first five contestants, all right? Duvain, how are you feeling? Are you ready for this first quiz? I am definitely ready. Are you ready? Of course, I will get the game pins to those contestants very, very soon, all right? From a lineup, we can already tell that this will be an interesting competition. All right, so Kadian and Adrian, um, I noticed here that you didn't sign up for Kahoot. However, would you be interested in playing? Would you like to play? Hi. Well, I never play Kahoot, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's quite easy. It's a very simple, uh, very simple game. All right, so all let me just give you the the random of it. It's a trivia game. You have a question that turns up on the screen and then you have your options will be triangle, square, circle, and I think um, rectangle. You're going to choose the answer. You are going to choose the answer by clicking on the, on the icon that corresponds with that answer, all right? It's also color coded, so it's easy to follow.
All right, everyone, you can check your individual chats, and I will, and you can see the game, the game pin there, so that we can get going shortly. All right, so Kadian is there, Davion is there, Adrian is there. So we just wait on Shisomo and Camille, looks like Camille. Yes, so Chisomo and Camille, we wait on YouTube and then we get going with our first game. Camille is there, hi. So I'm going to share screen now. And then we will get started as soon as possible, all right? All right, so everyone is here. We're going to start in the next minute or so. <laughs> Remember, folks, that when there are videos, if there's a video on this category, please wait until the video has started so that we can get your answer, all right, before you answer. All right, so we're going to get going. Let's go. The category is animals. Which animal is considered king of the jungle? That's the first question. Why, but I'm not seeing your screen. You're not seeing my screen? This is this is who Kidian. I'm not seeing who's speaking. No, this is Chisomo. Chisomo. I'm not sure why you won't be able to see my screen. Um let me try and let me leave and come back right now. Alright, so we're going we're going to wait until just well, I don't think she could return. Can she? Alright. All right, in that case, we're going to continue with you four, and Chisomo is going to join the other round, all right? So Chisomo, you- I'm hearing you now. Oh, you can, you can yeah, see? I'm seeing it, yes. Seeing it? Yeah, okay. see it That's it. So let's continue, all right? Next question. What type of covering do animals not have? Let's see who gets the answer right. Also, oh, one person said skills. Quite interesting. <laughs> All right. So the answer was definitely steel. Let's see who's on the top right now. Kidian. She is actually leading. Wow. Interesting. Next, let's, let's go. How were the animals loaded onto the ark? Two by two, everyone got that correct, all right? So, yes, Noah did let the animals into the ark one, two by two, and Davion has taken over the lead. I'm sure he'll be looking to face Jada later on. Hopefully Jada can, can, can win, all right? True or false questions, all right? Weather, food, and protection are reasons animals adapt to their environment. Let's see who gets this right. Everyone got it correct. That's the first five. But of course, Kahoot is a game of quick speed. You understand? All right. So Davion is still at the lead. Camille has an answer streak of four. All right. So we move on to question number five. What type of bird is this? Canary. It is indeed a canary, one of the most beautiful birds 
with LSU. And I see Camille has taken over from Davion. Not by far, but she has taken over nonetheless. Yeah. Oh, no. Tigers are a part of the cat family. True or false? It's a true or false question. We have five answers. It looks like we have a sixth person. Who is that? Okay. So Camille is at the top and she has an answer streak of six correct answers in a row. That's quite good. I see that the lead has, has changed twice here. So you may want to this are referred to as this animal. I think someone joined and <laughs> not sure who that is, but we have six right now. I see Kadia now has the next streak of seven. But Camille, she still commands the lead. We see now that Davion have some work to do. Yes, Davion has come some catching up to do. Next question, let's go. What is the national bird of Jamaica? All right, so we have our five responses and the correct answer is indeed hummingbird. Davion has reached back to the top. Welcome back to, to the lead, Davion. <laughs> ah. Welcome, Davion. <laughs> so what animal is this? Is this an ape, leopard, monkey, squirrel? And so everyone got that correct. It is indeed a lemur. And Kadian, who had no knowledge of this game before, she hasn't played before, and now she's back in the lead. Okay, so 10. Okay. Could there be another um, round? Um, yes, we'll get to that after this one. Okay. So are clams also called oysters? That is the question. So three people said true and the other said false. But they are indeed still called oysters. That's another word for clams, all right? Adrian has a streak of three correct answers davion continues to let his lead grow and we will see what happens coming on to the final four questions okay that this animal can be found in the name of a dc hero which one is it Is correct it is indeed batman i see people uh see spider but they they must recognize that there's a difference between dc characters and marvel characters okay so davion has been taken over by kadian kadian has a streak of 11 correct answers wow this is indeed intense people so we move on to question 12 how many groups are animals classified in Uh, so two people got this one correct, and it is indeed six. You have mammals, I uh, have your amphibians and reptiles, and you know the rest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sure you know the rest. Kiriad continues to lead. 
And I see Davion has some catching up to do, but he's not too far behind. You see, we move on to question 13. Frogs are reptiles, true or false? That's false, they aren't reptiles, okay. That's it, three people said true. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, so Davion has climbed back to the lead and has taken it over by some bit. All right, but remember, Kadian can catch back with just one correct answer. So what animal group are humans classified in? That is correct. We are all mammals, all right? Davion's lead has climbed. He now has 11,866 to Kadian's 10,884. Let's continue on to the final question for this round, all right? These are all fish except rhino. That is correct. A rhinoceros, it's not a fish. And that brings us to the end of our first round of Kahoot. Let's see the leaderboard. Who will be going on to the next round, all right? So Camille finished third with 11,126. Kadian finished second, a valiant effort by Kadian. 11,791, but of course, Davion, who says he's here to win, with 12,700. He has won this round. All right, so congratulations, Davion. You will be moving on to the finals. Uh, so your, your, your spot is safe until we get some others to compete against you, all right? Uh, Kadian, how, uh, congratulations to you. Camille, congratulations to you. Thank you so much for participating in Kahoot. And Kadian, I'm particularly impressed with your performance because you have no prior knowledge of Kahoot. And you definitely came here and you gave it your best, all right? So thank you so much. That is the end of this first round. I'm going to stop sharing my screen for this one. And we're going to get ready for the next round. Davion, what are your, how do you feel right now, Davion? Wow, I feel really great because, wow, throughout the competition, I was really challenged by <laughs> Katie. Wow. A lot of time I was in second, third, second, third. Right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. <laughs> you want your champion, champion overcome um, challenges. <laughs> and in the end, my my leader spirit triumph to bring me to victory. Of course. I'd... We <laughs> saw that you had a shaky start. You had a shaky start and then, you know, you came back to win. But a valid uh, effort from everybody else as well. It is a bit of rust, you know, it's such a long time since I've played this game. So rust showed in the beginning. I see. <laughs> Kadian, how did, how did you find the game? I know you said you didn't play before, but how did you um, find it? I figured that um, it was like an app store thing, so like I went and downloaded it. And I set up a, a, a profile like really quickly. <laughs> and... Then I just followed the instructions, as he said, and yeah. I mean, really, it's it's a good thing that like I have little knowledge, and I did watch TV and them something there, cause then probably wouldn't get anything right. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun though. Yeah, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm definitely glad. Yeah, okay. Good job, Kadian. Yes, very good job. I'm Camille. Hi. Hi. How did you How did you enjoy the game? It was okay. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. All right. Once you enjoyed it. Um, Kadian, of course, we know you and Adrian, you'll be taking part in the scavenger hunt. So make sure that you stay tuned. All right. Camille sounds a bit disappointed, though. <laughs> it froze. It really froze. I wasn't able to answer the question and I dropped to third. But it's fine. Yeah. It's I fine. saw that you had the lead. You had the lead all the times, man. It happens sometimes. Well, yes, Camille, you have scavenger hunt to make up for it. So hopefully you can still leave here a winner today, okay? Okay.
All right. <laughs> All right. So we move on now to our next round. So we will have Jada. This is Delahaye, Jada Delahaye. She's going to take part right now. Chantel. So Jada, Chantel. Dana. Is it Sia that I'm seeing? Sia, can you pronounce that name for me? Yes. All right, so Sia and Deneo. So those five are once again Jada. It's the same thing? Yes, yeah, same thing. Okay. So we have Shan Jada, Chantel, Dana, Sia, and Deneo. All right, Deneo, are you still here? You're here? Can you hear me, Dino? Yes, oh, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm question, sir. Yes, go ahead. Where's the pin? The oh, I'm, going, I'm going to send it to your, your individual chat. Okay, so look out for that. Okay. We have the likes of Jada in the next in the next round. So this promise promise this to be a good one. Interesting one rather. <laughs> because they can take it. All right. Um I'm going to send you the, the game links now. And remember to sign up with your first names um, for the for the the round. Okay, your first names. All right, you can go ahead and check your individual chats and I would send them to you. If you don't see it, just wait a second and it will get right to you, okay? Um, question, is it that the persons who participated in the first cohort cannot participate in the second round? All right, so let me give you a breakdown of how we were actually doing it. Um, we were going to have five rounds with cohort. Um, so we are going to have the winner of each round going on to face to have a final quiz. However, we only have half of the, the persons who signed up. So after the, the first scavenger hunt, we may have to amend it and give you another chance to get into the final, okay? So we're going to keep record of who have won and who have not won so far. And depending on after the first scavenger hunt, if we still have the same number, 
we are going to continue with who we have and give you another chance at getting into the final round and so everyone can have a chance to win, okay? So don't fear. Uh, we're going to make the amendments for you to be included. So you're going to have an equal chance, okay? Just probably, if I were you- Okay, I understand. If I were you, I would probably be hoping that no one else comes <laughs> so I can play again. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to keep you posted on what happens, okay? Okay, understand. Thank you for explaining. You're most welcome. I want to thank you to everybody who is on YouTube right now. If, we, if you're not sure how many viewers we have, I'm going to get that information quickly. But thank you nonetheless for taking your club time to join us here for the Commuters Games Day. Put on by the Commuters Games Committee. Duvain, any comments from you? Yes, definitely. Thanks, guys, for coming out. You know, you guys could have been otherwise occupied, but you chose to, to come on and play virtual games with us. So thanks for that. Oh, I see Dana. Dana, you have to go on... Um, Kahoot.com, okay? Yeah, you have to, there's a website for it, Kahoot.com. And then you just enter the game pin from there. So let us know when you get in. Or, or you can download the Kahoot app on your phone. That's fine. Either, either one is fine. Ah, there she is. Dana is in now. All right, so I'm going to share my screen, and then we are going to get started with the next round of Kahoot, okay? So we have Dana, Chantel, Dineo, Mauricia, and Jada. Classic children's television. That's the category. What is the name of this Nickelodeon character? The character, people, remember. Read the questions. I know that was going to happen. So it looks like uh, two people chose the correct answer and two people chose his real name. It was a trick question. Of course, that is Kahoot. So we, we have some, some trick questions. Remember to read the questions, all right, people? Uh, just quickly to remind you, when there are videos attached to the question, please wait until the video starts to play before you enter your answer, all right? I see Jada's out front and running already. Before you continue, can you just give me a moment to look for me to log in on my phone instead? If you don't oh. mind. Okay, well, okay we're on this. Uh, after this question, we can do that, all right? Okay. So these characters are from what show? Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Um, I'm going to give. Was that was that Dana that wanted the second? And Jada maintains the lead. Yeah. So I'm going to give Dana some time to enter on her phone. Or was it Dana or Mauricia? Who was it? Yeah, that was me. I'm ready now. All right, so 
continue. So Jada's in the lead steady. They'll have some catching up to do, the others. But we are on to true or false. Squidward lives in a pineapple under the sea. And that's false, indeed correct, all right? So Jada has a streak of three correct answers. She's in the lead, but of course with time, anyone can take over, all right? This scene is from which Nickelodeon TV show? Oh, it looks like we're having some issues, some technical issues here. Go ahead, make your selection. All right, so that is unfortunate. I'm sorry that that happened. Jake and Josh is indeed the answer, um, but you know how technology works. So for those that didn't get the answer, I apologize, okay? I'm very sorry. So Jada's in the lead nonetheless. We move on to the next question. Number one is the leader of the kids next door. And that is true. Number one is indeed the leader. So Jada's lead is climbing. It's She's widening. Jada has extended the yes. lead. <laughs> All right. Which famous pop singer features in this scene from Victorious? I think someone answered. Someone broke the rules. All right. You can go ahead and pick, pick your answers. Sorry. Oh my word. Yes, it is Ariana Grande, but I think I'm going, I, I don't know, sorry. We're going to, to make a quite a quick edit to these questions so that no one gets disadvantaged like that again. This character's name is Cosmo. Is it a true or false question? True, Cosmo is indeed the character, the name of that character from the fairly odd appearance TV show. So Jada's still in the lead, but Deneo has caught up quite quickly and he's on an answer streak of six. All right. Deneo is closing in. Yes, he is. These characters are from which cartoon? Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy is indeed the correct answer. So two people chose Dexter's Laboratory. And Jada is continuing to build her lead, but Deneo is staying close by. He has an answer streak of seven. Which Blues Brothers classic are Drake and Josh performing in this scene? One answer that ready. So man, only one person got that correct. And I wonder who, who got that one correct. Dana. Oh, I can see she's a big Jake and Josh fan. <laughs> well then. This is Emperor Cusco.
That is true. Two people disagreed that that was Cusco, and unfortunately, they didn't get it right. Jenna is saying that she was unable to see the video. Oh, she didn't see it. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Jada. <laughs> Tweety Bird thought he saw a what? A pudi cat, that is correct. <laughs> All right. So Dana has climbed up the charts. She's taking third place right now. Daniel has an answer streak of seven. We continue. Question 12. This is the theme song for which kids TV show? Arthur. Arthur is the name of the character, the name of the show. And one person said Curious George. I think the yellow shirt uh, tr tricked him up. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So Jada has, has extended her lead. Uh, Danae was still, still trying to catch her. Uh, I think you have to speed up his response time. All right. So Coolio performs this theme song, True or False? That is indeed true. Coolio is the name of the artist performing this theme song. And from the classic show, Keenan and Kel. Remember, we had to stay up late nights in order to see. And Daniel has finally has taken, taken the lead. <laughs> wow. It's a nail biting series. <laughs> he was knocking on the door. Wow. All right, so Jada has to try to catch him up quickly. Who are these characters? is indeed Pinky and the Brain. I think they have one of the, the most classic uh, theme songs in children's television. And Deneo has extended his lead. Chantal, she has a this streak coming up. of three. Of yeah. three. So we're on to the final question. What is the name of this group? Wow. We had some interesting questions there. Big Time Run and one Backstreet Boys. Well, Big Time Rush is indeed the answer. I wonder if they were, if they saw the Big Time and just clicked on that one. Yeah, you have to read the responses, people, all right? This is Kahoot. That's the trick questions. And of course, we are on the end of this round. And let's see who will be moving on. Third, Dana. Congratulations. She had 7,000. The nail he moved down to second, so that means Jada. That Jada. Oh, <laughs> final question. Jada, Jada came back to the, the line. <laughs> yes, the race is not for the swift. <laughs> wow, that that is interesting. This is a really interesting round. This this round had less points, but indeed more excitement, okay? So, Daniel, congratulations to you. It came down to the final, final question. They both got 12 out of 15, and 
Jada came out on top with 10,342. Jada will meet the one. That rivalry still continues. But thank you so much, y'all, for, in, for entering this round. Of course, like I said before, we are going to see if we will have more contestants coming in. So Dana, Mauricia, uh, Chantel, don't feel too bad. Don't think it's over yet. Uh, you, you might get another chance to, to reach the finals, all right? So that's for now. Jada is moving on, and the others have to wait and see if they get another chance to move on, all right? So congratulations, Jada. Open your mic and tell me how do you feel. Come on your mic. How do you feel, Jada? Um, but um, just a minute, Andrew, they are a little bit low, so I'm barely hearing what you're saying. But to answer your question, I was nervous. Especially that one video that I couldn't see, that's what gave Dinea the lead. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I just ruined it. But you know, I held the faith. I held the faith. Good job. <laughs> Congratulations. <all right. laughs> uh, I hope you can hear me a little bit better now. Is that, yeah. is that better? Oh, we should also um highlight Dana as well. She came from the back to secure third place. That was yes, a yeah. good effort. A very valiant effort indeed. What 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 was going through your mind, Dana? How did you feel? I'm not sure if I heard correctly, but he was low. Did he say I'm supposed to unmute? I'm I'm not sure why my mic is low. Um but I was just asking you, how are you feeling after that? All right. So actually, well, it's not the first time playing the game. It's just really the first time, like, competition, competition. So I was nervous as the person before me said that she was nervous. So I think it was Jada. But it was fun. So, you know, if I had my headspace together, I would give Jada a run. But hopefully we can get to the finals also, as you said. All right, hopefully. Um, Deneo, wow. You're at the top for the last three questions, and then right up until question 15, Jada came and she took back the lead. What, how do you feel now about that? Well, I feel very, very disappointed. Very disappointed. I think I should have won that. But as I said, the reason I'm for the safe and I rust, rusted because when I first see the, um, the video started to come up, I knew it was big time rush, so I saw saw the blue icon. I thought it was big time rush. He said, instead it was big time rush. So I press on the click, and, and I thought I won. But when 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 I realized I got it wrong, and then then they said the green one was blow it, I said, oh my gosh, I gave it away. I, I definitely should have won that. Oh dear, it happens. It happens. All right, but well, thank you everyone so far. Uh, Chantel, thanks for joining us. Thank you, uh, Mauricia. But don't go anywhere. We still have the scavenger hunt, and from the looks of it right now, you may be able to, to get another chance to get into the final for the final round, Sparkle Hoot. All right. Uh, right now, we're going to do our first scavenger hunt. Now, for those of you who have taken part in this scavenger hunt before, you know the rules, but we're, I'm going to re-explain or give another explanation. Um, I'm not sure if re-explain is a word, but I'm going to give another explanation. I'm not hearing you, sir. You're talking low. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going, for those of you who have already taken part in this scavenger hunt, I'm going to give you, you may already know the rules, but for those who may be new to it, I'm going to just give a rundown of how it works all right so i'm going to share my screen and give you a number of riddles this this screen will show a, a photograph with riddles posted on it what you will have to do is read those riddles and try to come up with the answers to those riddles the correct answers and you're going to take your photographs and you're going to compile them or you can put them individually into the Mona Commuters GCC Instagram page that we're going to be using that page. You can submit your answers in the DMs 
all right? You can either compile those questions, those answers, those photographs, or you can send them one by one. So you're going to read the riddles. You're going to come up with the answer to those riddles. You're going to take your photographs and then you're going to either compile them and send them into the DMs of our Mona Commuters Games Commit, well, GCC page. So it says Mona Commuters GCC. That is our Instagram page. Or you can send those photographs into the same page one by one. All right. So you will decide which one is quicker, which one is better, which one is more convenient. And then you will do to suit. All right. So I hope everyone caught that. Did everyone get, are those instructions clear? Can you repeat the IG page, please? I'm going to post it in the chat as well. It is Mona Commuters. GCC. All right, so it is there in the chat now. Is everyone clear on what is going to happen? All right, I'll take that as a yes. And Duvain, any thoughts before we continue with this, or before we start with the scavenger hunt? Okay, so I'll just join that back. Um, so give me a couple of seconds. You can continue though. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to share the screen very, very shortly. All right, well, no. So get yourselves ready. And here are the first, the question, the riddles for the first scavenger hunt. Good luck and we will let you know exactly when there is a winner, okay? Good luck to everyone. Good luck, guys. Um, wait, hold on. Um, if you haven't signed up for the scavenger, I can still participate, right? Yes, yes. Go ahead. You can go right ahead and participate. All right. So, for those of you viewing, you can take part as well. Um, but you won't be eligible to win. <laughs> but you can try to. <laughs> you can try to. Uh, you know. Just get the answers to the riddles for yourself. All right. So you have this new page is a getaway to game, a gateway to games. Drop a follow and a like, then screenshot for our eyes. So you can take a look and see, you know, just read that and, and think and say, oh, what is it? The riddle number two says, I can be drank but you know me for my handiness. Can you please do my man able to see? All right. I can be drunk, but you know me for my handiness. Watch me in the box of mechanics and technicians. Share a pic of me. Lubricant, no? JD, your mic is still on. <laughs> <laughs> that is my, well, you can um, see whoa. this. Yeah. <laughs> So you can see exactly just how tense it is here, just trying to get those answers. And remember guys, it's not all about winning, you can have some clean fun, right? And guys, also, um, as you can see, my screen is giving a little trouble. So you can check for the riddles on the Instagram page because they're also posted there. The very same Instagram page that you have to send your answers to. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I could read some of the riddles too if you want. Yes, that, that will be very helpful, Duvian. Thank you. So we have um, Riddle One. This new page is, is a gateway to games. Drop a follow and a like, then screenshot for your for our eyes. Riddle two, we have I can be drunk, but you will know me for my underness. Watch me in the box of mechanics and technicians share a picture of me. Riddle three, with COVID around, you wear me all day to town. If I'm blue, that's an extra point for you. Take a pic of me and share with and share with glee. I'm sticky and wet. Plus your hands love me the best. Take a picture of me and an hashtag commuters run the road. And the final riddle is um, the color of the sunshine is quite divine. This color exudes commuters pride. Take a picture of me with this color to share the commuters power. So there you go. Those are all five riddles. I'm going to stop sharing my screen just for a second so that I can uh, try to get this page working. All right, people. So my apologies. Just give me one second so I can rectify this issue. In the meanwhile, guys get cracking. All right, so if you're just joining us, we are currently having our scavenger hunt that is on the way right now.
All right, so we've been having our responses, and it looks like Kadian and Adrian are closest to getting the correct answers, but I think they made a couple errors, so they have to go back and rectify that. Um, but it seems like we're having an interesting competition so far, an interesting scavenger hunt. Um, I see Amoy has joined us. Welcome, Amoy. We will get to you very shortly. I know you're you're in the scavenger hunt right now. All right, so since you joined a little late Amoy, I'm gonna give you the rundown once again. Um, you're supposed to follow the Instagram page um, to see the, the Instagram page is, uh, has the scavenger hunt riddles. So you can go there to see what those riddles are. When you have compiled the answers, you can either send the photographs one by one into the DM of the Mona Commuters GCC Instagram page. I'm going to resend it in the chat so you can see it again. Or you can compile them together and then send them at once whichever one is more comfortable for you, okay? And the responses are coming in like wildfire. Like wildfire. So we're going to keep you posted on what's happening. Duvain, are you there? I definitely am. I, I'm sure you'll be interesting to see how things unfold here. Definitely, definitely. Again, guys, please remember to follow our Instagram page, Mona Commuters GCC. So it seems that number two is the big issue right now. <laughs> number two, the riddle says, I It really I is. Oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> number two, the riddle says, I can be drunk. But you know me for my handiness. Watch me in the box of mechanics and technicians. Share a picture of me. That... I think I have it correctly, but I don't want to view my message. Really? Wow, we need to get that sorted out. Let's see, Jada. <laughs> Let us see, because I, I don't know for real. <laughs> Same here. Nobody has viewed my messages either. All right, so we're going to keep track of that very, very... Well, right now, as I understand, let's see. All right, so it looks like we have our winner for this first scavenger hunt. Uh, let me see, drum roll, please. J 
Ada Delahaye is the winner. Scavenger <laughs> <laughs> oh, <first>. <laughs> Hunt. Wow, Jada, do you have a thing for scavenger hunts? So what is it? I don't know, you know. I don't know. Wow. So I'm going to just give you the Congrats, Jada. Yeah, I'm going to give you the answers quickly. So the first question. Sorry, so sorry. The first answer to the to the riddles were to take a picture of you following the Yui Mona commuters. GCC IG page. All right. So Jada sent that. You can also not know the answer to the question that was given everyone a run for their money. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. That was the answer. <laughs> um, screwdriver. If for those of you who have frequented bars or gone to the restaurants. So oh, I would have never gotten that then. Uh, what? <laughs> Also, the name of a drink. It is a, a cocktail. Just general knowledge. I don't frequent bars. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> I don't think that's general knowledge because I have no knowledge of that. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody has every general knowledge. <laughs> yeah, it is made of, of orange juice, made with orange juice and vodka. Right? That's what we call a screwdriver. Um, then answer to number three was to take a photo of a mask. You can either be wearing it or just holding it up. It doesn't matter. Um, number four, the answer was to take a picture of hand sanitizer or hand soap, liquid soap, right? Um, and number five, to take a photo of anything the color yellow. All right. So, Jada, congratulations. And you have won four hundred dollars credit, so we will contact you to make sure that you get your credit. Yes, we like we like to make sure that you can talk to each other here, especially during this time. Yeah, but that's the end of our first scavenger hunt. We are going to do another round of Kahoot, and I'm going to see who. I'm going to let you know who the participants are for this one. So, so far we've seen Davion and Jada go forward to the final round. So for this one, we are going to give those who may have not come out on top in the first two rounds, we're going to give you all a chance to get into that final round okay so we have amoy are you do you still want to play kahoot let's see amoy is here you can let me know all right so amoy says sure she's going to play so amoy you will be a part of the next round all right so let me tell you exactly who will be there. we have amoy chisomo Kadian, Deneo, and Dana. All right. So Kadian, Amoy, Chisomo, Deneo, and Dana. All right. You will be taking part in the next round of Kahoot. And I am going to send you the game pins in individually into your individual chats so please look out for it
All right, so I hope you have your devices ready and I'm going to send you the game pin now. So you can check your individual chats and I will forward that to you and enter the game room accordingly. Let's get this game rolling. Yes, indeed. All right, so we have all five of them are in there. We are going to start this round of Kahoot right now. Let me just adjust the volume right here so you can hear everything. Interesting lineup. All right, yes. All right, everyone, I'm going to start now. All right, so for our first question, who is considered the king of pop? The late Michael Jackson is definitely the answer. So let's see who's taking the lead. Chisomo, she's out to win. Yeah, she definitely wants to make it into that final round. So we move on. What is the name of this song? Someone answered before? That's interesting. <laughs> ah, so one person said pinky finger to the moon. <laughs> uh, it's just the response there. Let's see who got this right. Amoy, she has moved right up to the top. Of course, she, she seems to be a Bruno Mars fan. All right. Which music company's charts are the most famous in North America? Ah, this should be an interesting answer. Yes, that's correct. It is indeed Billboard. And Billboard has been out for many, many years. And just Somo has reclaimed her top spot. And she has an answer streak of three. So three. This rap artist's name is The Baby. Right. Is that true or false? That is true, indeed true. The Baby. So just so much extended her lead, but I'm always very close behind and she has an answer streak of four. What is the name of Cardi B's latest single? Up oh, is the correct answer. One person said what? Wow. So Cardi B released her latest single last Friday. I see Kadian is coming up with it to take over the second spot. So everybody's gunning for Chisomo. And she's trying hard to keep that lead, all right? So number six, which Jamaican artist is featured in this song? So everybody has to wait on this one to hear who, who it is. 
to mix up in drama to go outside popcorn is indeed the answer popcorn so he has many songs with drake uh signed to ovio uh indeed a legend in dance all right so chisomo has continued to show her dominance we move Into on in the league yeah which pop artist headlined this year's Super Bowl halftime show? One person said Ariana Grande, uh, but indeed the correct answer is The Weeknd. And then he's, he's a meme right now going around. <laughs> so to some more, extends her lead. You move on to question number eight. Which former Prime Minister of Jamaica is mentioned in the next line of this song. Yo, you can sing the song forward, all right? Uh, yo, sorry, my dear. Like, I got the wrong number this. No occasion, one man, but an occasion is a first. Oh, how come I just sing good vibrate? You know, whether you're going to have people that's going through the IG. Show me the yard, you like ice cube in the ice tea. What are you saying? You're not going to have a... Wow, PJ Patterson was the correct answer. Nobody got that right. If you if you're familiar with the song, PJ Patterson is the one. Yeah, like how the PMP them rate PJ. That is the line. <laughs> so far, you don't guess that one. Ah. <laughs> oh, so no one gets that right. So the lead, the leaderboard stays that way. To someone continues to lead. So this artist has a song with coffee. And everyone says false. Wow, I mean, what? Is that song not popular or something? It's not. <laughs> Whoa. Um, that was your thinking it was. <laughs> John Legend indeed has a song with coffee, and it is entitled Don't Walk Away. You should probably listen to it sometime. But it has. it came out last year during the pandemic, and it is indeed a bop. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> so just so what continues to lead we are on to question number 10 which pop artist was also the star of her own tv kids tv show on disney and i think that one was a relatively easy one uh i can see why we would go with ariana grande because she was indeed the star of a tv show but it was on nickelodeon okay Miley Cyrus is the correct answer, however. And Kadian has taken over the lead, and Amoy has taken back her second spot, but I'm sure she's wanting and allowing to be on that top spot. She has an ancestry of seven. This is the beat to which Khalid song? Young Dumb and Bro is indeed the answer. A lot of people have gone with Can We Talk? It's similar, but not exactly the same. <laughs> All right, so KDM maintains the lead. Just so much, she, she got the points off that one. What is the name of this Jamaican reggae icon? Dennis Brown is indeed the answer. I'm glad to see that Jamaican reggae history is easily recognizable. So that's like Daniel has taken over the fourth spot. He, he, he changed his position. So let's see. They still have some catching up to do. We're on to question number 13. What is the name of this Doja Cat song? Sharing. 
Streets is the correct answer. Streets is the answer of that song, all right? Kidian, she knows her Doja. She's obviously a Doja Cat fan. <laughs> all right, so this is a true or false question. This Drake album was released in 2015. False. It was indeed released in 2016, uh, about April. So, Chisoma has taken over from Amoy. Kadian maintains her lead and she's on an answer streak of three. So, we have two more questions. Well, this is the final question. Wait, what quote is associated with this producer? Another one. That is correct. DJ Khaled. All right. So that brings us to the end of this round of Kahoot. Let's see. Let's take a look at the leaderboard and see who will be moving on to the final rounds. Coming in third place, Amoy with 7,886. Second is Kadian. Kadian? Wow. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. And we have another one that came out to the final answer, and Chisomo. Whoa. Chisomo coming right back on the last question, just like Jada, and taking her top spot. Let me tell you something. You see that little that just smash it up for the last one? Because I know it's another one, but I don't know if me switch on the way them and see <laughs> another one. Excuse <laughs> me. Wow. Yeah. wow. So that was good and competitive fun. And just so more comes up on top for this one with 9,598. So congrats to you, just so more. I'm going to stop sharing your screen for this one and get ready for the second one. Amoy, congratulations to you as well. And Kadian, thank you. Amoy, you're going to take part in the next round, so don't go anywhere. We're going to give you a chance to play a second game. Um, now that this that was your first, so don't go too far, all right? In the meantime, Chisomo, talk to us. How do you feel? I'm so excited. I I, <laughs> I didn't expect it because um, that one question got me to third place. But then um, when I moved up to second place, even though I got that one correct, I figured everybody would get it. So I didn't think I moved to first place. I was so shocked. <laughs> yes, we can tell that. Yeah. You're <laughs> it's just I'm gonna read this something properly, yeah. but it's fine. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Good, in all spirit, and that is what we want. Even not coming out on top, you feel in, enlightened by the fact that you took part. Uh, Kadian, valiant effort. I mean, you said from the start that you've never played it before, but you mm. you've you've came to the top three in both of your rounds. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Hopefully you, you enjoy the game. Did you enjoy the games? Yeah, I'm, I did enjoy the game. Yeah, so I'm just going to let you know that you're able to, you know, create your own um, quizzes in the future if you have some, some friends that you would like to play with. It's very easy to create your own quizzes and, you know, just go ahead and, and have your own fun time, games night, whatever. You know, um, at one point, Kisomo was in third place, and you know she came back um, to dip at the first line at the last, the last second, and retain her title. Wow! Well done. Thank you. All right, so let me let let me tell you who will be playing in this next round before we have the finals. We are going to have Amoy. You play again. Hello. All right, so we have so far Adrian. Amoy and Deneo.
All right, so it looks like we are in luck. Davion, Chisomo, and Jada, you are not going to take part in this one. The remainder, Adrian, Amoy, Deneo, Kadian, Dana, y'all have another chance to get into the final round, okay? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so luckily for you all, you can play another one. Yeah, you saw what I did there. Another one. And get another chance to, to get into that final round where we will have three final quizzes. All right? So the last one, you're going to... I'm going to send you the game pins right now. And you can enter as you please. All right? Interesting turn of events. All right, everyone, you can go ahead and enter the game room. All right, so good news coming out of this round. We are going to take the top two finishers into the finals. All right, the top two finishers will move on to the final rounds. So you're going to play hard and try to get into that final two so you can go forward. We're going to get started right about now. I'm going to share my screen and let's get this thing on the road. Here we go. Let's see what the category is. Sports. Sports is the category. My personal favorite. <laughs> Mine too. Let's see. FIFA is the governing body of which sport? Football. That is the correct answer, all right? So we move on. Amoy and Dana, they're the top two right now. But everyone is on the same level, yeah? LeBron James currently plays for which NBA basketball team? The Los Angeles Lakers, that is indeed correct. We're moving on quickly. Kadian, she moves on. She moves up to the top, and Deneo has moved up to, the, to number two. So this one should be very interesting. I'm sure that we're going to have a lot of lead changes throughout this one. Who is this footballer? Cristiano Ronaldo, indeed. Let's see. Kadian and Deneo, they remain up top. Deneo has a lead of streak of three answers. Which sport is this athlete known for? Football. And the answers are coming in swiftly here. Next question. Let's go. Okay, he's definitely a football fan. 
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Tom Brady has won the most Super Bowl titles as a player. True. And he, he added his seventh on Sunday, or well, last Sunday. And Kadian seems to be a, 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 a vivid sports fan. Wow. How many players are on the field for the bowling team in a cricket match? The answer is indeed 11. Those who are not too familiar with cricket probably got that wrong. Uh, hard luck. But, oh, and Kadian dropped down to fourth. Deneo and Dana, they've come up. And Adrian has also come up to third. I have no idea how cricket works, so <laughs> <laughs> it's inevitable. <laughs> All right, so we move on to the next question. This is, the, this is currently the men's 200-meter Olympic gold medalist. That's false. Kirani James, he was the former uh, men's 400 meter Olympic gold medalist, but currently he, he I don't think he's, he runs the 200 at all. So Daniel, he's, he's moved up <laughs> number one. Next question, let's go. Who is this tennis player? Serena Williams, indeed. She's currently taking part in the Australian Open. Daniel continues his streak. Adrian, he moves up to number two. So he's on a and he's on an answer streak of eight. So you move on to the next question. Jamaica has its only Winter Olympics gold medal in which sport? Bob Sled, that is exactly the answer. And Kadian's moved on to number five. What has happened, Kadian? <laughs> what sport is being played here? Volleyball is indeed the correct answer. So the leaderboard remains the same, and we move on to number 11. These are all... Yes. These are all positions in netball except... Right wing. That is indeed a football position. So the nail maintains the lead. 11 correct answers, and we move on to number 12. This is Elaine Thompson here. Correct. Answers are coming in quickly, man. They are very quickly. Another true or false question. Swimming is an Olympic sport. That answer is true. So the Neo. Is extending the lead. Manchester United has this nickname. Let's see who are the, the true Manchester United fans. The Red Devils, that is indeed correct. And Kadian move, moved up one spot and she will have to get this one correct very quickly. What is the name of this sport? Darts is indeed the correct answer. So that was the end of this round. Let's see who goes on. Dana, she's third. Adrian. Adrian is second. And Daniel finishes on top. With 15 out of 15 correct answers. A perfect score. And Adrian and, and Dana got 14 all right so that means that adrian and daniel will move on to congrats everybody yeah <laughs> indeed congrats daniel 
Congratulations. Don't round round, you know. This is not it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. So, Adrian and Danielle, you will move on to the final round. So, stick around and uh, we'll keep you posted. Thanks, everyone, for enjoying this round. Dana, congratulations on coming third. And uh, I'm going to stop sharing so that we can move on quickly to the next scavenger hunt and then come back to finish off with Kahoot. All right. I think if only we had more football questions, KD would have come out the victor. Yeah, man, definitely. But like, you know, I <laughs> on to like the Olympics and like, medieval or Omega Bob said, I said that just sounds more Jamaican. So let's just work. <laughs> but KD, did you not watch the movie? Which movie? There was an entire movie on that. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, football fan. Yes. Yeah, um, <laughs> it was a great achievement for Jamaica as well to get a winter sports um, gold medal in the Olympics because but I'm really proud of them. You know, yeah. <laughs> keep up the good work. There's definitely no snow here. <laughs> exactly. So like that's pretty cool though. So yeah. But anyways, Kenny, you gave a great showing today. I, I'm not sure if you're taking part in the second um, scavenger hunt. Are you? Yeah, I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Thank and you. Good luck to everyone who is con who is going to be in the scavenger hunt. And the riddles are up on the Instagram page. So the scavenger hunt number two has officially started. All the best, and we'll let you know who has won. Question: The viewers on YouTube can enter the scavenger hunt. Um, yes, they, they can. They can do that. Um, Christian, what is next for Kahoot? Um, finals after Scavenger 2? Yes, there's a finals. Um, it will be three rounds of questions, all right? Three rounds of questions for the finals. Wow, that is a lot. It's a taste of speed and stamina. Most definitely. All right, so Duvain, can you please remind us of what the questions are? Can you let us know? Read those questions for us, please. All right, I don't think Duvain is here right now. So let me pull up those questions. All right, so it says, 
Wow. Number one is quite interesting. All right, I'm going, I think I'd rather share the screen than read this. <laughs> okay. Um, let me share the screen so you can get an idea of what the questions are. And as you can hear, the responses are coming in one by one. So here we go. In the meantime, Davion, you and Jada meeting in the final again. You think you can you can take her out this time? All right, I think I think they're both busy. <laughs> I should I think I was supposed to let you know that she can't take part in this one, you know. I think I was supposed to let her know. All right, so let me give you an update. It looks like Adrian is leading. He has the most correct responses right now. And Katie Ann, Chisomo, and Amoy are very, very close behind. So we'll see who reaches all of the correct answers first. All right, so we have a winner. And it seems to be one of our viewers on YouTube. So Jordan, Jordan Hudson, you are the winner of our scavenger hunt number two. And you can see how things work out. I mean, a viewer came in and, and swooped in and took that victory. So congratulations to you, Jordan. Uh, we're going to get the question, the answers to the questions for you very shortly, so you can have an idea.
So here are the answers to the riddles. The first answer is to take or get a photograph of a kind of bubble gum. So bubble gum, what we call chewing gum, is the answer to number one. Take a picture of an object that is red. Number two, that is the answer to number two. Number three, take a picture of a doorknob. <laughs> Amoy says she's going to get number three or four. Wow. So yes, number three was a doorknob. And number four was a photograph of a cup. And we were taking a rare answer of lip gloss or a water bottle, okay? So those three answers to so number four, we would have accepted a cup, um, bottle of water, or the rare answer of a lip gloss. And yes, number three, Adrian was indeed a doorknob. <laughs> yeah. And number five was a pillow. Pillow was the answer to number five, okay? So congratulations again to Jordan. I mean, it's a great a, poor, a great uh, achievement to come in and, mm -hmm. and beat those who, you know, signed up. But hey, so you go. Um, you're going to win $400 credit. So we will get into contact with you to let you know exactly which uh, provider you would use. And congratulations once again. I think Duvane has left the meeting by probably some technical issues. So it all comes down now to the last three rounds of Kahoot. The final three rounds of Kahoot. I see Jada is here. I see Davion is here. Chisomo is here. Adrian is here. Right, so Davion, Jada, Chisoma, Adrian, and Deneo, you are the four, five finalists. Sorry, math was not my strong suit, but you are the five finalists. So let's get things ready. Everyone is here, present, accounted for. Let's join back. Oh, yes. Hi, Duvin. Everyone here, just almost here. Adrian said, I don't know who is the champion of Kahoot, but sorry, not sorry, a new sheriff is in town. Jada, that is you. That is a direct message for you. <laughs> Let's let the games begin. That's all I can say. All Oops. right. The energy is strong here. <laughs> it's the energy for me. So, Duvain, you can talk to the, the competitors while I get things ready. Sure. So, guys, how are you feeling? <laughs> Jada, do you actually feel threatened though? No, I know, because we're just having fun. I, I won the scavenger hunt, so I won't be leaving with, without anything if I do do. So I'm just going to try my best and see what happens. If it's sports though, I'm out. Just call me. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> David, I know you have something to say. Let's go, Davian. What's up? How are you feeling? Yes, Davian. We like yeah, to hear you. I, I feel a bit nervous now. There's three rounds. I mean, that is some serious consistency. So um, I'm just thinking about what I can do now to um, kind of see where the Jada is the first round that the, the guy was winning and, and the last question, Jada won. I'm using that as my motivation to ensure that I stay as close as everybody and I want to sneak past everybody and the last question every time. 
That's just my strategy. Yeah, um, I can say the exact same thing, um, Davion. Well, I mean, this, this one promises to be something really interesting, right, guys? Because everybody's trying to sneak past everybody. <laughs> I don't really love the three rounds, though. One could have look a better. All right, so let me give you all a rundown. We're going to do three rounds of this finals, all right? So there's no need to be nervous, Jada. Imagine, imagine it this way. You may lose in the first round, but then in the next two rounds, what you accumulate may be enough to win. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to take your scores at the end of each round. We're going to calculate them, add them up, and then whoever has the most points will be declared the winner. Okay? So it's going to be interesting. I am not even in the competition and I am nervous about this one. <laughs> All right, guys, so you can go ahead and enter the game area. I sent the game pins. So we'll see who gets in there first. Adrian, then Chisomo. You're not getting points for getting in there first, okay? <laughs> it's this point. <laughs> but as soon as everyone else gets in, I am going to share screen and we'll start this thing. All right, so all of the participants are there. All of the finalists, I should say. Yeah, they're there. So we are going to start. Let's see what category comes first. Countries and geography. All of these countries are in Europe except Australia is indeed correct. That is in Oceania. Oceania, sorry. In that area. Yeah. So Jada is up front early and in command. Question number two How many continents are there? Seven is correct. A lot of people get confused with five. I don't know why, but I've heard a lot of people say that there are five. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should, yeah, a lot of people, they're told that they're five, but they're seven. And Jada has dropped down to the third. Davion and Daniel. Davion has taken the lead. <laughs> yeah. This healthy rivalry here. This is the flag of France. That answer is indeed false. And they knew. So it looks like the three who were competing last time are coming back here. Yes, they knew was here last time and he, he on indeed gave them a run for their money. What is the capital of Barbados? Well, two people chose Nassau. Nassau is indeed the capital of Bahamas, but Bridgetown is correct and not Bridgetown, all right? So Chisomo has exchanged with Adrian and Daniel continues to keep the lead. How many states make up the United States of America? Fifteen. 
50 is indeed correct. The ever so. 50 stars, 50 states. Yes. And Jada's dropped down to number five. Wow, Jada. You have some catching up to do, some work to do. Some work to do. Yeah. Which country's flag is this? Cuba, that is indeed the correct answer. And Jada's come up, she's come all the way up to third. Which countries border Colombia? This one is indeed a tough question. Let's see who gets this right. Wow, so two people have gotten it right. Let's see who they are. Jada and Daniel. Jada knew that one. Wow. Or was it a lucky guess? Well then. Africa has 54 countries. True or false? That is true. Indeed correct. 54 countries make up the continent of Africa. And Adrian moved up to third. Daniel, he's still on top. Daniel maintained the lead. Yeah, Alaska is the largest state of the USA. True. And Jada and Chisomo making their move up the leaderboard. The nail continues to be a steady first and second still Davion. How many parishes does Jamaica have? These answers are coming in rapidly. Five people answered correctly and the answer is 14. Let me continue. What is the largest country in the Caribbean? Hispaniola is indeed correct. I'm not sure what the second largest country is. I just know that is Hispaniola. That is the largest. Jada has a, an answer streak of three. We move on. London is the capital of England. Is this true or false? It is indeed true. London is the capital of England. Ethiopia is, the, is in the continent of Asia. That is false. So Daniel extending his lead there. We move on to question number 14. Which country hosted the last FIFA World Cup? That is right, Russia in 2018. Oh yes, and Brazil was in Rio 2016 for the Olympics. Avian has a streak. You can find Hamilton in these two countries. Hamilton is the name of a city. Bermuda and New Zealand, that is correct. Hamilton is indeed the capital of Bermuda and New Zealand is, it is in New Zealand. So that is the first <laughs> round. We have Jada, she's currently in third with 8,967. Davion is currently second with 10,162. And Daniel. 11,782. He is right now in the lead. All right. So we're going to get those response. Those. We're going to get the next quiz ready. Stand by. Jada, what happened? Boy. I guess it's the game. If you don't know the questions and if you don't answer them fast enough, you're going to drop. It's just a part of the game. Yeah, we have two more games to make up. Daniel, you said you said something and you stood stood with that. Congrats. Davian, well done. Yeah, man, respect, respect. Well, one thing I know, I know if Daniel get one question wrong, I will take the lead. 
So I'm, I'm definitely pressuring right there. All right, David, noted. <laughs> and you know, for the Colombian question, I guess that one, you know. So you guys still feel like the three rounds is still too much? <laughs> no, no, not, not at all. I mean, if I didn't win this one, it's okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm good with three rounds. Got you, got you. <laughs> Probably I'll need four, you know. <laughs> yeah, Come on, everybody will get a chance to come up. <laughs> All right, so you can move on and head into the room for the second round. All right, so let's go with the second round of the finals. Let's see what category comes now. Automobile. That is the, the, the category. Let's go. What is the meaning of SUV? Just let me double check here. Is anyone missing? Jada, did you an did you get a chance to answer? I think she's having some connectivity issues. Yeah, it seems that way. All right, let's let me just try to get in contact with her quickly before we move on. Quickly, quickly, all right.
All right, everyone, we are going to give Jada just a couple of minutes. Um, she's had some, some connection issues. So in the meantime, I just want everyone to stay confident in this one. Yeah, and see Chisomo is out in the lead early, trying to, to make up for what she lost in the first round. Duvian, you can have a chat with me, with me, you know, what's up? Let me know how you're thinking. I'm just trying to make sure that our answers are correct, hopefully, that's all. <laughs> that is fine. And we do encourage you to get the, the correct answers. That is the only way that you can win. Yeah. Jada is back. No, just give her a few minutes. Just give her a minute. Okay. Kiss out out on front. <laughs> I've really been enjoying all these games, man. Sorry, guys. My laptop shut off on me. We understand. I can get by the cold talker who, please. Yes, Jada. I let me just give you the code. Let me give you a minute. Uh, all right. So as soon as you are back in, we will continue. Participants, thank you so much for waiting. Of course, we want to give everybody a fair chance. Um, Jada, are you back into the game? Yes, yes, I'm ready. All right, everyone ready here? Accounted for? Good to go? Yeah, man, ready, man, ready. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to... Come... sounds anxious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Next question. A clutch pedal is only found in a manual transmission vehicle. And that is true. For these purposes, it is true. Now, some may argue there is a third pedal in, in automatic cars, but most times that is a foot brake, which is a substitute for the handbrake. However, that is too much detail. I mean, just move forward. <laughs> <laughs> Did I come back to secure third place? Yes. This is the logo of which car manufacturer? Audi is indeed correct. One person said Volkswagen, the other said Nissan, and Deneo is back up to number one, and Jada is back up to number two. What is the meaning of BMW? One person got it correct. I'm going to, I tried all week trying getting this pronunciation correct. So it is indeed Bayersk Motoring Work. Adrian coming into second place. The gear shift is, this gear shift is for manual transmission. That is correct. All right, so we move on quickly. This is the logo for which car manufacturer?
Isuzu, that is correct. So Adrian now comes up to number one spot. Lewis Hamilton is the winner of what motorsport racing competition? Formula One is indeed correct. Lewis Hamilton, I think he has the record for the most wins as well. We move on to number eight. Which brand is this car? Tesla is indeed correct. One person said Toyota. And Adrian moves back up to number one. It is between Adrian and Deneo. I think they have their own little rivalry going on. Who is credited as the inventor of the first car? Henry Ford is indeed the inventor and Adrian maintains his lead. Jamaican artist Ace God sung about these two Toyota cars in one of his songs. Marquettes and Atsio is indeed correct. Jada, she has an answer streak of three, but Adrian leads. Vivian has some work to do. Which brand manufactures this car? Hyundai, that is correct. Let me move on quickly. An engine's power is measured in, in horsepower. That is correct. Adrian maintains his lead with an answer streak of five. And we move on to question number 13. Which brand manufactures this vehicle? Toyota is correct. Davion, right down to number five in this one. So Mercedes-Benz is the correct answer. And of course, I can see that Adrian is leading still. He has an answer streak of seven correct answers. In a row. Yeah, the nail is in second. You'll see who, who continue who can come out on top for this round. Of course, all of the points are accumulating. Let me move on to the final question for this round. What is the nickname given to these cars? Muscle cars is indeed correct. And a lot of people. I heard people say that they've never seen those cars before in, the, in their life. But anyways, Jada, she came third in this one. Daniel, he's second in this one. And Jada has 9,768. Daniel, 10,618. And Adrian has 11,638. All right. So we're going to get ready for the final, final round. And we'll be right back, all right? That, that round was so tough. <laughs> wow, I mean, I definitely need to know a little bit more about this. Can I tell you? <laughs> Well, yes, you know, this is the final round, so we had to make it a little bit more difficult for you to get the, the answers, right? Uh, just really test your knowledge, see how well you know these things. I think you'll find this, this last round quite interesting. We can definitely say that Adrian is definitely a car lover. Indeed, indeed. Deneo, someone gave you a run for your money. 
Yeah, yeah man, definitely man. But but guess a few answers because I don't know much about her and um I don't really know much about her, so I guess I was looking in know in that room. Yeah, I I agree with you though, Duvina. I, and it was confirmed there that that Adrian is indeed a car lover. And I mean he got those answers right with his his eyes shut, you know. Figure of speech, people, figure of speech. But we're going to get ready for the final round. This is the final round, guys. Go out or go home. <laughs> That's right, Duvain. Go hard or go home. Final round. This is for all of the chips, as they were saying poker in poker. <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and check your individual shots for the final round. Adrian Davion Chisom was there. Jada has arrived. So we're going to wait on the nail. Chisomo, how are you? We haven't heard anything from you in a while. <laughs> kind of disappointed, but just here. <laughs> Well, you can make up for it in this round, you know. We're on to the final round. Now we know you may get all the questions right in a second then, you know. <laughs> Take <a> all. <laughs> okay. I'm going to share the screen now, as you can see. And we're going to get started. I hope everybody is ready. Let's go. Let's see the category. Technology. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> this is the logo of which technology brand? Apple is indeed correct. And just so more early out the blocks with the lead. Mark Zuckerberg is the CEO of Facebook. That is true. One person said false. And just almost staying in the lead. Jada slips down to number five. Danae on number two. Davey on third. And Adrian taking fourth spot right there. This is the logo of which internet service provider? Digicel. I mean, you can't, you can't forget that one. Just almost is maintaining her lead. What does HTTPS stand for? Hmm. Three people got that correct and two people were tricked. Moving on smartly, we move on to number five. RAM stands for random access Memory, correct. And Deneo now moves up to the top spot with Adrian and Davion closely behind. What is the name of this man? Bill Gates, that is indeed Bill Gates. Someone said Steve Jobs. I mean, they look similar, but hey. Jada, you, you seem to be struggling a bit with this one. <laughs> Samsung is the producer of these mobile series, except for... Why? That is indeed correct. There's no such thing as a Y Samsung phone, you know? <laughs> so the nail, top spot. Davion has an answer streak of three. And we move forward. 
Apple uses Android software. Everyone says false and they've gotten that correct. So Deneo, Adrian and Davey on the top three right now. Just someone Jada, they're trailing behind, but I'm sure they can catch back up. We're at question number nine. Google, Bing and Yahoo are all what? Search engines, that is indeed correct. And there's a difference between a search engine and a browser app, all right? What was the first type of computer? No one got that right. Oh, the supercomputer was not the first. Indeed, it was the ENIAC. And it is a, a slogan for, for something. Daniel, he continues to be at the top with an answer streak of nine. What was the first device to add and subtract? What was the first device? The abacus, well, a lot, everyone got that right. Pretty simple, actually fun fact, I did not know that that existed. I learned a lot while creating these quizzes, trust me. A floppy disk is a fourth generation computer component. It is indeed true. So the nail, up top, strong. I was extending Jeff the lead. Yeah. So Jeff Bezos is the owner of Amazon. Is that true or false? It is true. He stepped down as CEO, but indeed he remains as the owner with majority shares. The Neo and Chisomo moves up to number two. And she has an answer streak of three. I think technology is her thing. All of the following are types of computers except for which one? Super mini computers, exactly. And that is indeed the correct answer. Davion got that right and he's moving forward. The nail stays in the top spot though. CPU stands for what? Central Processing Unit. And that was the final question. That was the final question. And that brings us to the end of our Kahoot competition. Duvain, what are your thoughts? What do you have to say quickly before we see who the winner is? Well, I will not try to assume who the winner is because these competitions are really interesting. Yeah. But, um, wow, it, it was a good one. <laughs> All right. So let's see who's won this round. All right. So the standings after this round, well, for this round, we have Davion finishing third with 11,020. He got 12 out of 15 correct answers. Just so more, she is second for this round. 11,784 and Deneo finishing on top for this round 11,823. So now we wait, we tally to see who is the overall winner. Quickly, I want to say thank you to everyone for competing here, Davion. What happened? <laughs> Not then. Uh, they, I believe the automobile um, section really threw me off. 
uh, to be honest. Um, technology. I did RRA technology. I think um, I got a few incorrect that I should have known. But as much as I would like to win, it's a big learning curve. And these questions are general knowledge. So I see where I need to improve on my general knowledge, improve more my IT knowledge, and know a little bit more about cars. Awesome. And it's all about growing here. Uh, Jada. Yes, Jada. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Boy, I fumbled the bag part, man. <laughs> Um, you know, from the get go, <laughs> the pre- from the get go, like the pressure, and then because I really wanted to get them, get them quickly, I wasn't looking properly. But it's all uh, fun and games. The person who wins deserves it. All fun and games, nothing serious. Yeah, remember everybody still has a chance because we have to calculate the scores. Um, let me see, Adrian. We have not heard from you. Talk to us. How are you feeling? Well, I know for sure that I did not win. I guess the technology and the first round caught me off guard. I tried to make it, make it up with the automobile, but I'm sure that alone did not secure me the trophy. But whoever wins for sure definitely earned his or her place. Kisomo. Well, for me, I just, I think what, for, for me, I think it's a lot of hesitation why I um, did bad in the, um, didn't do well in the automobile part, as well as not knowing some of them. But as I said before, whoever wins deserves it. And congrats to them. I think Dineo won though, you know, because he came, but second or third in the first round, second in the second round, and he came first in this round, I have no doubt. All right. Yes, so, yes so, uh, but, yeah. but we let the judges decide that, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're the one calculating. We have, have Jada's uh, opinion on who she thinks wins, uh, won this one. Duvian, who do you think won? Who do you think won? Um, I'm going with Daniel. Okay. Davion, who do you think won? Uh, Daniel, I mean, it, 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 the position tells us all. First, second, first, he has to be the winner. Okay, Adrian says Daniel as well. Chisomo, who do you think won? From the stats that Jero was saying too, and I remember, I honestly do think Daniel won. All right. So, Daniel, talk to me quickly. How do you feel and who do you think won? Do you think you won as well? Well, uh, um, I think so. I, um, my first is the score first. I don't want to jump the gun yet. All right. The smart thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So quickly, I want to get a thought from Kidian. You are watching. Are you still there, Kidian? Yes, I am. <laughs> As an onlooker from the outside looking in, how was intense was was the Kahoot finals right there? I mean, it was pretty intense. I was, like, rooting to see um, if Jada would have kept her title. But I was just like, uh, I guess, you know, <laughs> just never make it this time. But, like, it was really interesting. I learned a lot, obviously, because I was just like, sometimes I was just like, I don't get that. But then sometimes I'm like, I don't know none of this. So it was really interesting. And, yeah, it was good. <laughs> I'm always, I'm always still here. Yes, I'm here. Can you give me your thoughts quickly? Um, it was very intense. I actually wanted Chisoma to win because I know her. But I uh, think um, the Neo won because of the stats. And congratulations to Yes, them. I agree with that too, with the Neo thing. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, now we've come to the time where we give you the official results of Kahoot. All right. After three rounds. We have, I'm going to start from the bottom. Fifth place, our defending champion, Jada. She finished with a total of 26,042 after the three rounds. In fourth, we have Chisomo. She finished with a total of 27,929 points. Our second runner-up, 
which is third position. Davion with 28,385. Adrian finished second with 28,448. So this means that everyone correctly predicted that Deneo is the winner of this 2021 semester two. <laughs> yes, our second games day. Deneo, congratulations. You finished with 34,223 points. And it was very, very close between second and third. It was a good competition all around. I want to thank everyone who joined us here today. Thank you so much. I am going to see Deneo. Give us your give us your your, your victory speech quickly. All right, he says well, thank you. Um, <laughs> all right, I, I don't have much to say still, but yeah, man, it was a good competition, man. I was nervous the whole entire time. The second part with the automobile was a tricky one. I guess a few of them. The technology, all right. I had um, prior knowledge with IT. I don't remember the, what's the first round. What's the, what was the first round category again? Uh, the very first round was mu music? No, it was... I can't remember either. Oh, yeah, uh, geography. Geography. Yes, geography. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I didn't know about ge geography, man. And yeah, and yeah, man, as I said before, it was a tough com competition. Yeah, right. I'm glad everybody um, enjoyed themselves. And yeah, I I'm feeling good. Good. So, congratulations to you. I want to let everybody know what they've won. The third prize, third place prize, you are getting $200 credit. The first runner up, second place, you are getting. $300 credit and the winner, Daniel, you will be getting a customized mask and that is produced by Prince by Trina and along with $100 credit. So we're going to get into contact with each and every one of you um, sometime after this life has ended and you will be contacted to get your prize, all right? So thank you everyone that participated in Scavenger Hunt, participated in Kahoot. It was an interesting three hours. I had fun, well, two, two hours and 15 minutes. I had fun uh, on behalf of the chairperson and deputy chairperson of, well, the male and female games committee chairpersons, which is Duvain. He's the male games committee chairperson and Roxanne Evans, she is the female games community chairperson. I want to say thank you for being us for being with us here this afternoon. It was indeed all fun and games and in the spirit of commuters. We have a lot more coming up for you. So remember to follow our Instagram page, share anything that we will be, that we will have coming up and just keep track of what other games and, and exciting stuff we're gonna have coming on. All right. So once again, thank you. I'm Gerardo Morisili, the PRO for the Games Committee Chair, well, Games Committee. And uh, it was a pleasure being here, Duvain. It was a pleasure having you. Say anything quickly, du Duvain. Yes, um, thank you guys for coming out. And um, congratulations, Deneo. Well, well tried um, the rest of competitors. And we look forward to having this competition again. All right, definitely indeed. Keep it, keep your eyes out. We're gonna have a lot more things coming up for you. All right. So thank you for joining us here, everyone. Thank you so much, Christina, and everyone who was on YouTube. Thank you for viewing us. All right. So that's it from me. That's it from us here. We will see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>